let me, uh, first of all, um, in my intervention, to appreciate the uh, Nijami Ganjabi International Center because uh, it's one of the few NGOs uh, that are inviting scientists at their conference. And I have uh, chosen the panel, uh, this panel, uh, because the topic for the debate uh, is the role of the science and culture in contemporary uh, decision making. Uh, I like um, last year, when in the session with the same uh, topic I presented a more uh, optimistic uh, approach, I ask you now to allow me uh, to share with you my personal worries about the more and more diminished uh, role of the science and culture uh, have in decision-making uh, process, and especially in uh, elaborating uh, a strategy of policies uh, for future. In the last uh, decade uh, of the past century, the transformation uh, of the information society into the knowledge uh, society was proclaimed. Uh, the Lisbon uh, agenda was uh, mentioning emphatically uh, the Europe of knowledge in 10 years was a failure. And nowadays, uh, there is less talk about the knowledge uh, society. There is talking uh, uh, instead the uh, knowledge uh, dereliction of value uh, that uh, endured the progress of society in favor of the instrument facilitating the management of political, military, and economic power in a society where money is a supreme value and consumption is the main uh, goal. Without uh, denying the global uh, raising of living standards of the educational level, we cannot ignore the fact that the main beneficiary of the globalization as the financial and banking companies, not the university and scientific research institutes, that the representative for science and culture. The information society, which uh, was supposed to be a vehicle to lead uh, us to the knowledge society, was in fact uh, the factor that hindered this transformation. This is not difficult uh, to observe that beyond the communication uh, facilities between researchers and long uh, distance learning, which are representing a very small, uh, small percentage, the communications through social media network is massively uh, dominated by sex, uh, violence, uh, commercial uh, messages, and fake, uh, and fake news. Uh, during this forum, uh, there was much talking about uh, populism and political correctness. Uh, when we are talking about the role of science in making political uh, decisions, we have to know that there is no political correctness in science. We, the researcher who used to live the, under the communist dictatorship, we know very well that political correctness is meant in communism. The bourgeois science was condemned uh, in uh, that time. And uh, science uh, uh, only seeks the truth. And uh, many times in the history of science, the scientists have paid a heavy price for this. The populism is equally dangerous for science. The mathematical theorems and the principle of physics is not submitted uh, to vote and not uh, validated by the number of likes on uh, social media networks. And uh, a few words uh, about market world versus values world. In a pragmatic time dominated by principles of efficiency, a world of markets has been brought into discussion and still is a largely debated topic. Either it is about goods, capitals, and labor force. Certainly, the market world, which seems to have a solid present, will not have a viable future if it is not backed by world values. 
university are threatened and assaulted by market economy. Of course, as a man uh, who has spent uh, almost his entire adult age in the university, I cannot express um, myself uh, against modernizing infrastructure um, uh, and bringing certain performance criteria in university life. I think, however, that too much importance given to immediate effectiveness as well as engaging faculty, departments, and teachers the rest of the race for obtaining financing will mean a risk to diminishing very soon the original vocation of university. You, you